Yamaha presents The Whitetail Diaries, chronicling hunting adventures of the most plentiful and intelligent big game animal in North America. Join top whitetail hunters nationwide. Embark on the amazing adventure that is hunting the whitetail deer. Welcome to this season of the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. Well, last season Wade accepted a new challenge hunting with a handgun. Let's take a look back at two of Wade's hunts. First up, a pop-up blind that looked promising. We've decided to get into that pop-up in a very low light, dark conditions, basically get in there an hour before daylight and get settled in and see what would work along that, along that creek again. Uh, you know, we'd had a shooter in there that had skirted us and moved out, but in my mind, I kept playing through this scenario of these deer would want to be in this shady brush line alongside this creek, and eventually we would have an opportunity to, to get one just crossing back and forth. The, the deer were moving this morning, and I mean, it was, it was really setting up the way that I like to see a setup go down. You know, as I'm sitting there, and, and, and I, I'm trying to get a shot, this deer kind of slides in at a, literally about 15 yards, and he, and he cuts across, going from right to left, and then he kind of cuts across, and I mean, I'm, I'm on him, and, but he's quartered away really, really hard, really hard, a shot that I just would not take, you know, in any situation. missed. Oh, I think I missed that shot. Oh, dead gun. I don't know. I really think I pulled that shot. That was pretty intense. Had two shooters out there all over me. Oh, gosh. Two great eight points come in right there. They milled around, milled around, milled around. Got him out there about, I don't know, probably 35, 40 yards. And I, I, this is all about trigger control. I've spent a ton of time practicing on the range. And I, I really honestly think I, I pulled that shot. It just did not feel good to me. In my mind, I missed. And I saw the reaction of the deer and, and thought, man, I missed. And we went back and looked at the footage and there was one brief point there where we thought maybe, you know, that I had hit this deer back, but you couldn't see it. You just could not define what you were seeing. And there was no hair, there was no blood, there was nothing. And, you know, if you asked around camp, if there was 10 people in there, nine and a half out of 10 would say, that was a miss, you whiffed. We don't know where you missed, we don't even know where you hit, but it's a miss. But that's not the way that, that we like to do it and what we want to do. So we started, you know, a pretty thorough search. Scott was, was going down the creek and I was going off this direction and some of the other team members were over here and we heard him whistling and we, and we, we you know, he, he, he whistled. Well, that's the, the windlet way of learning each of the other two brothers that I got something over here. And lo and behold, on the other side of that creek, he spotted that deer. You know, this is a testament to having friends to come help you find a deer. When I took that shot, the first thing that popped into my mind was, you know, I totally, totally missed that deer. And, uh, but when we got back and looked, this is, this is, this right here is where I got him at. And the, the thing about it is, 
there's no blood. I mean, we never found blood. We're, we're I don't know, five, 600 yards away. And to find this deer, it, it was a, a total team effort of people getting out and helping and walking around and looking. And I mean, you look at the character of this buck, and you know, when you look at him out there standing in that, in that cut with the bent brow tines and the big tines, I mean, that, that hunt couldn't have, couldn't have come together absolutely any better. We'll pose him up, take some awesome pictures here, and uh, we'll probably tell that story quite a few times. Congrats to Wade on taking that buck with the Performance Center Model 629 Stealth Hunter in 44 mag. Now up next, we'll look at another exciting handgun hunt when we return. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you in part by Yamaha ATVs and side-by-sides, real world tough. Cabela's, it's in your nature. Garmin Rhino 7 Series, wherever you hunt, make it Rhino country. full line of Yamaha ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles with class-leading durability and reliability. All real world tough. It's in our stomping grounds and our playground. It's in our sights and our commitment. It's in him it wasn't them, and it will continue with her. It's in my nature. Is it in yours? The outdoors. It's been my playground for decades. I enjoy everything about it. Like me, I bet you also look at the outdoors as your own personal playground. And like me, I bet you're always looking for the newest challenge. So come join me and my Smith & Wesson Performance Center handgun and let's share a new experience in the outdoors. Performance when it matters most from the Smith & Wesson Performance Center. The art of the hunt is not painted with a broad brush. Its eye is in the details. The note on the refrigerator. A set of broadheads, tried and true. The well-worn boots, soaked in dough estrus. And a Garmin Rhino. The only GPS with two-way radio. Clear the rhubarb out of the freezer. It's whitetail season in rhino country. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. Hey, we're taking a look back on Wade's handgun hunts from last season. We started off with him harvesting a solid nine point with his Performance Center Model 629 Stealth Hunter. Now he's headed out into another pop-up blind, but this time with a brand new handgun. What I'm gonna be hunting with is something new from the Smith & Wesson Performance Center. This is a 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum now. They've had one of these 460s out for a long time with a bigger barrel, but this has got a lot of new features built into it and it's something that I can't wait to get out and field test. I think it's gonna be perfect for the situation that we're hunting in. Smith & Wesson's Model 460 XVR has the highest muzzle velocity of any production revolver on Earth. The Model 460 XVR is so revolutionary that it required an entirely new designation, XVR Extreme Velocity Revolver. Some of the features include a high-vis fiber optic front sight, integral scope base, a muzzle brake, performance center tuned action, and unfluted cylinder, and all backed by Smith & Wesson's lifetime service policy. Hey, let's rejoin Wade back out in the field.
Got him. Got him. Got him. Smoke that guy. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about right there. Did you see him come running across that? Come running across that field there. Uh, he, he came in. There was two or three other deer milling around. I mean, I guess they like his little little shade here or there. I'm definitely a little shook up. <laughs> you see the gun shaking a little bit right there. That's a giant. You see all those tines. I mean, he's got he tied one side. He's got an extra tine coming out here. He curves in. He's got brow tines going that way. That's what I'm talking about from the performance center right there. Smoke that deer. Gah. Lee, that's so fun. You know, I have really taken to this handgun hunting and getting involved in it and spending time down on the range and shooting. And uh, it, I mean, they, they just perform so well in the field. I mean, when you can, you know, get out there and practice and take the time, I mean, you can just do some phenomenal shooting with it. I've been practicing at all distances, um, all ranges with several different calibers. So that was pretty cool right there. <laughs> Give him a second and we'll go go take a look. <laughs> right there, buddy. Right there. I mean <laughs> He's right there in the room weed. <laughs> look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at this buck right here. That's gonna be the exit wound right there. Wow. Wow. Look at that. You talk about character on a deer. I mean, this deer has all kinds of character. I mean, look at this exit. It's like a channel with an extra tine right here. I mean, you got it. I mean, right here, another one curves in up here, goes out here. Look at this brow tine hooking this way. This brow tine's going this way. I mean, what a stud. I mean, this is an old timer, too. That is a phenomenal buck. And I mean, talk about center punching one. We center punch that one thanks to that performance center 460. You know, that's a new model that they've got, and it just has been a blast to shoot what a buck <laughs> love the character of this deer here congrats wade on another handgun entry into the yamaha whitetail diaries thank you buddy well coming up next thompson center's danielle sandville comes to hunt at the whitetail diaries deer camp the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you in part by Smith & Wesson Performance Center. Performance when it matters most. Thompson Center, America's master gunmaker. High Viz Shooting Systems, see what you've been missing. Bradley Smoker, food smoking made easy. High Viz Shooting Systems knows that your shooting performance matters in all conditions. All high-vis shooters experience faster target acquisition with our durable LightWave sights. Featuring easily interchangeable light pipes, LightWave sights give your eyes the exact sight picture you crave. Shoot high-vis. See what you've been missing. Efficient power, shooting 370 feet per second at only 140 pounds of draw weight. The Ultralight Eclipse RCX boasts next generation reverse cam technology, taking your performance to inspiring new levels. 10 point, perfection lives here. You work hard to put feed where you need it, when you want it. And thanks to our patented SpinTech spinner mechanism that elevates up and down, you'll no longer have feed go to waste due to wind or unwanted varmints. When the motor is shut off, the spinner plate is automatically pushed up tight and sealed against the hopper, protecting your feed. Stop wasting your time and let the SpinTech technology work for you. The thing about public land is that most people hunt the same old beaten path. The thing about you is, 
you're not most folks. Introducing the new TC Compass, only by Thompson Center. Follow your own compass with America's master gun maker. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch. That smells good. And then pouring each container. Once it's cooled, each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom from Conquest Scents. Stealth Cam. Proven reliability. Proven quality. Proven performance. StealthCam continues to push the boundaries of technology and innovation with its next generation of trail cameras. Proven performance in extreme conditions. Proven. StealthCam, join the trail cam revolution. Ingalls got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more. Ingle coolers, go with the original. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. We have Danielle Sandville in camp today. Danielle is the brand manager for Thompson Center Firearms. Let's hear from Wade on the conditions and what's to be expected on her upcoming hunt. You know, when Danielle was coming in, the weather conditions were kind of uh, really mixed. We had some more rain coming in. We had storms on the horizon. We had winds changing. We had cloudy conditions. We were going to get a little cooler than it had been, which we were excited about. But it was kind of leaving me with a lot of questions on where to go. We were we literally spent the morning before she arrived uh, checking a lot of scouting cameras, actually sitting in some stands and just trying to get a gauge for what we thought the deer would be doing. And we had a good idea that, you know, a couple of these locations were going to have a lot of deer. But the question was going to be, would a mature deer show up? You know, when you climb up in, in a stand in this part of the world, chances are you're gonna you're gonna encounter a lot of game. It's just an area that that was just has a lot of wild game. And so when we go out to you know our first stand, there wasn't any doubt in my mind we could see between 20 and 30 deer. There's a big water source off to the left. We've got some food sources in that area, and it's just a game rich environment. But it, based on past experience, I kind of felt like we were really only looking for a couple of deer. But because of the conditions, that was probably going to be the same anywhere we, we set. So when we settled in, we were, in my mind, it was, it was kind of a needle in a haystack, but it, the whole time our mind was swirling on where to go. You know, we've been fortunate to have Danielle down a couple times in camp, and it's always it's always an adventure first off. It seems like we've got to move around a lot when Danielle comes in, which is fun for me. I love to cover a lot of ground, but it's always interesting because Danielle is like a sponge. She's always looking to learn more about what's going on and why we're doing certain things and, and asking questions not only about the wild game, but about what we think about the products at TC and, and how we use them. Because that type of feedback is invaluable when it comes to product development. Not only for tweaks for what we might be shooting now, but uh, you know, future products. Now, one of the newest products that Thompson Center has developed due to field testing is the all new TC Compass, which Danielle has chosen to take into the field with her on this trip. So, I have here the Thompson Center Compass rifle. This is the bolt action rifle by Thompson Center. Comes in 11 different calibers from 204 Ruger all the way up to 300 Win Mag. Some great features about this gun. Each one of these guns comes with a threaded muzzle. Um, also comes with a thread protector on here. So if you choose not to put anything on here, you just keep this thread protector on. But it has standard threads to allow for muzzle brakes and also suppressors if you choose to. So this comes with a three position safety. So 
you have the fire position, we all know what that is. So when the gun is actually loaded and you're ready to shoot, you actually just make sure this isn't fire and you can pull the trigger. So you have the center position, which is actually your safe position. This allows you to be able to manipulate the bolt, but you actually can't pull the trigger. In addition to that, we have the bolt lock position. Bolt lock position on this gun is a great feature. I really like it because when you're in fit conditions and you're hunting, you actually make sure that you don't manipulate that bolt. So you can see the bolt is locked. So if you've got oak brush or if you've got some thick trees around you, you can't, you will always make sure that that bolt is in the downward position. Really help with accuracy. So for additional information about the Thompson Center Compass, go to tcarms.com. When we return, Danielle spots a mature deer on one of her final hunts. Will this be the one? <laughs> Find out when the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries returns. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you in part by Conquest Sense, Hunting Sense and Dog Training Sense, Do All Outdoors, Stealth Cam Digital Scouting Cameras, The Bubba Blade 4-inch Gut Hook, featuring Mossy Oak Breakup Country, fashions a high carbon stainless steel blade built perfectly to meet your needs. Designed for effective precision cutting, the famous Bubba Blade handle, featuring Mossy Oak Breakup Country, providing ultimate control when harvesting your game. Bubba Blade, the ultimate sportsman's knife. Purina's Quick Drunk is the perfect solution for attracting deer to your location and providing them with the essential nutrients that will encourage their growth. Use these blocks where you can and I promise you, not only are you going to see more game, but the game's going to benefit from you placing it out. Hercules Outdoor Industries is the new leader in hunting blinds. However you hunt, Hercules is the one blind for all needs. Hercules blinds are entirely made in the USA using high quality fiberglass components that can last through rain, snow, and all those cold winters. All Hercules fiberglass hunting blinds are foam insulated and carpeted, and Hercules Outdoor Industries will arrange to have it delivered directly to you. Find out more at HerculesOutdoors.com. When you're out hunting, make sure you're carrying Grove Tech. Grove Tech is designed specifically for the rigorous demands of the hunt and sets the standard for strength and ruggedness when out in the field. Grove Tech products have simply built the best tools for the job and are proudly made in the USA. Go hunt. We'll carry the gun. Grove Tech. Since 1984, Sawyer Products has offered the most technologically advanced solutions for protection against sun and bugs. Sawyer Picaridin Insect Repellent is effective against mosquitoes and flies. It's safe on you and your gear. And to maximize your protection, use a combination of Picaridin with odorless permethrin for your clothing and gear. Sawyer Stay Put Sunscreen will keep you comfortable and getting better protection for even longer. You're already outdoors. Sawyer keeps you there. Every day, your eyes are exposed to dust, debris, and wind. Only Wiley X removable gaskets block it all out, and your eyes remain safe. Wiley X, absolute premium protection for sportsmen. Protect it or lose it. 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 Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. So it's about 5.15 in the morning. Um, we are going to go out today and drop Wade off in the Viking so he can do some scouting. He's seen a lot of mature deer, um, different parts of the ranch, um, and we're going to go out to a different tree stand than I haven't been at yet. And hopefully one of those big deers walks out in front of me this morning. So I've got my TC compass and we are ready to go. Thank you. 
<laughs> He's down. <laughs> wow. I mean, he got behind his tracks. He didn't even move. He, I can see him. He was right there. Wow, we saw two really big 10 pointers, but they're only like two and a half, three years old. <laughs> and then this old guy came out and uh, he was perfect for me. So this is great. This is so great. You know, sitting in the stand and seeing a lot of deer is, is what I love about this part of Texas. You, you may at home be sitting there going, wow, how can they pass that deer? Well, it's looking to the future. While this season is probably gonna be one of our toughest and most challenging ones to find those five and six year old deer, I'm, I'm already thinking ahead because the conditions right now are better than I've ever seen them. The deer, when you look at them, you can just tell the difference in now and three years ago, or four years ago, even when we were in the heart of that drought and how they look. And it's just gonna be an amazing stretch ahead. And, and so when we have a chance to get out with people like, like Danielle and others that share that vision, they can pass on those two and a half year old uh, deer be, and think about their future trips and what we're all gonna be able to encounter. It makes it even more exciting when I back up and I see her smile and I see that big old mature eight point laying there on the ground with all that character. It's got the tines coming off of the back of its main beams. It's got velvet hanging off of him. And I know that that's the right deer. We had seen probably 150 plus deer in the other hunts before she got that one, but that one, was an old bruiser, his teeth were, were <laughs> worn down, and uh, I know she's happy with it, and I'm even happier because I know that's the right deer that we shot, and one of those younger guys is gonna be living to, you know, grace somebody's wall in the near future. Thanks for joining us. Join us next week, won't you, for another exciting entry in the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries.